Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'd like to show how easy it is to create sound reactions yourself. I really love the sound reactions editor in Studio One because it's so convenient to add articulation maps for your sample libraries. And for this example, we're gonna use the Berlin Consolino Strings library from Orchestral Tools. So first, let's open the sound reaction editor with this wrench button. And as you can see, the first articulation we have is legato. And you can see that it has the key switch C0. So in our sound reaction editor, I'm going to add a new variation and I'm first gonna add the right key switch to have the correct starting point for our other variations. Okay, now let's call it legato. And what I'm gonna do now is just add as many variations as we need. And the really great thing about that is that Studio One uses the next key switch for every new variation and it automatically sends it right to the instrument so that we can see how many variations we need to add. So now we have all our variations and we basically only need to name them properly. And what I also really like about the sound reaction editor is that I can set my cursor for renaming and then I can switch between the different variations with the arrow keys while staying in text edit mode. So that really allows me to just jump to the next variation and then Studio One automatically sends all these key switches when I switch between the items and I can just look at the articulation in the Berlin Concertina Strings player and just write those names down. You could of course also copy and paste those names from the Orchestral Tools website, but for me it's definitely faster to just retype the names instead of changing between windows. And now we're already done. That was really easy and fast. Now we're going to do one extra, because this library has two different modes for the legato the subtle vibrato and the expressive vibrato. Wouldn't it be cool to access these both types through our sound reactions so that we don't need to care about this setting again? And that's surprisingly simple to do. As you can see, the vibrato can be switched with MIDI CC3. So all we need to do is to create another variation and I'm gonna call it legato expressive. And now let's just select the normal legato and just add a control change here for this variation in the activation sequence. And here we select CC3 and the value of zero is already correct. And now I can just copy this whole activation sequence with the key switch and the MIDI CC to my second legato. And now I just set the value for CC3 to 127. I could do that in the table below, but I can also change it directly here in this list, which I think is a little faster if you need to change several of these values. Okay, so let's try it out. And as you can see, it works just fine. Now let's record a phrase and use our new sound relation map. And let's assign some variations. Alright, now the Berlin Concertina strings have not only the violins, but of course also violas, celli and basses. When I now choose the violas, you can see that the articulations aren't quite the same as for the violins. Most of them are identical, but some are missing. So let me show you how to easily adjust our violins map to match the violas in no time. And let me just see, okay, the violas don't have the non-vibrato sustains, so let's just remove them. 
Now we need, of course, to correct the key switches and fill this gap here. And for that, just select all following items and just change the key switch of the first one. And as we see, Studio One automatically batch changes the following ones, so you really don't need to change them manually. Okay, these are correct, but I don't have the ribs and the fifth drops, so I need to remove them as well. And same thing again, I just changed the key switch to A sharp zero. And now we have a perfectly working Viola sound reaction map. And of course you can save this map as a sound reaction preset. And you can also save it with a Studio One instrument preset. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos on Studio One, on composing and on sound reactions. That's it for today and I hope to see you again in the next video.